Hi, this is Linda with Crafty Music Maker. Today I would like to teach you the notes of the treble clef. So we can have line notes or we can have space notes. That's it, that's it, the two. So how do you know which are which and how to use them to play the recorder? That's what I'm gonna teach you today. We have the treble clef right here and it's on a staff. A staff has five lines and four spaces. We count them from the bottom up and same for the spaces. And that's important because if I ever said what's on the second space or the first line it makes a big difference. You need to know that we go up that direction. Now, this is also called the G clef. And because it's a G clef, it wraps around the G line right here. So from there, we can figure out all the other notes on the staff. Now, the musical alphabet fortunately only has seven letters. They are A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So once you get to G and you need to go on, you just start over with A again. So for us to figure out this G, we're going to go, let me switch to red so you can see it better. So here we have the G line. And then if we go up, we're going to have to go back to A, then B, then C, then D, then E, and last F. We could go farther up for today's purposes. We're going to stop at the F. So backwards, we have the G. So going back in the alphabet, of course, this space will be F, and the bottom line will be E. So here we have from low E up to high F. But that's kind of hard to memorize. You don't want to be counting every single letter, trying to figure out a note. So what we do is we split it up between space notes and line notes. Well, the space notes, we know the bottom note is F, and then the second space is A, third space is C, and the fourth space is E. And look at that, it spells the word face. That's kind of convenient and easy to remember. Now the line notes start with E, G, B, D, and F. Hmm, that does not make a word. And egbdf is fun to say, but it's not very helpful. So we like to use a sentence to help us memorize those letter, those line notes. So back when I took piano lessons when I was five years old, my piano teacher taught me every good boy does fine. And that was kind of the standard. It's not really a great sentence, but it kind of gets the point across. Nowadays, they make it a little nicer. It says, every good boy deserves fudge. So <laughs> that's a fun one to have. In Las Vegas, when I used to teach for Clark County School District, we taught the kids Elvis goes boogie down Fremont. And Fremont is a big street in Las Vegas. If you ever go there, go be sure and go see the Fremont experience. So these are to help you figure out when you have a line note or space note. Just remember line note goes above and below the line. The line goes right to the middle. All the space notes, they're right between those lines. So hopefully this helps you. Um, Next time I will have another video that will help you learn these, kind of like a little name reading session to help you get, memorize these because ultimately you want to be able to recognize these notes right away and know exactly what note they are. There's a wonderful app called Staff Wars that I will include in the link in the description that I highly recommend. It's fun to help you learn these. And then the next video I have will help you also learn those. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to it. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button. See you next time.